Alrighty, well, Merry Christmas, everybody, and time on, and thought I'd go ahead and do another Gem to War video, and this one here is going to be about a build that I, I pretty much pulled out of the mothballs, um, and this was also, I believe, the very, 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 very first build that a guy named DJ Screw introduced me to, I'll have to go all the way down here, which, um, which I affectionately, or disaffectionately, depending on how you look at it, uh, call the pinball team, and now, before I continue on, um, I am going to have some background music playing. And again, to me, this is an aptly named team, the pinball team. I'm going to have some pinball music going in the background. And we're starting with my all-time favorite table, TX Sector. Now, I'm kind of risking it here because um, this uh, the, the description, it makes no mention of whether or not this uh, music is copyrighted. So... I figured I'd, I'd just go ahead and throw caution to the wind and just play the stuff anyway. And I don't know how long this video is going to be, but if it does go long enough to where it's going to go into the next into the next table, then I'll I'll probably pause, pause the video and let, let everybody know what it is. So, so let me go ahead and... Here. Well, here, let me... Uh, I'm probably going to be... Probably going to be better for thematic purposes to actually show you what the build does um, but it's if I remember right this is DJ Screw's favorite build right here so but anyway you guys are probably all oh and I'll also I I can't remember I can't remember if I made a video about this particular build um just turn the volume up a little bit from my end okay Okay. Anyway, but but anyway, I didn't I didn't know, so I thought figured might as just go ahead and do it anyway. And I guess this could also be like a a subtle little Christmas present or or a, a little Christmas present for him, you know, bringing up the very first build that he showed me. And you guys are probably all too familiar with this one, uh, Mountain Crusher. And then we have Queen Queen Beatrix. Another all-time classic right here. But, uh, and... I'll, exp I'll explain here. I'll kind of explain in a second why I call this the pinball build. Because this... This this group here is a... Frick, it's a frickin' parallel for it. So, then you got Minoxia. Kind of does the same thing that the Queen Bee does. Except creates green and, bro green and blue. And both of these are dealing true damage. So, it's... Totally ignoring the armor and going straight to the life. And kind of the same thing here, except this guy, or actually this girl, I should say, she's uh, dealing a flat 28 true damage. And then you got old Leppy. You know, the first turn board blow. Um, normally, I don't have Leprechaun in any of my other builds. Just the battles drag... The battles that I do, like the high tier PvP, um, oftentimes uh, difficulty 12 explore runs, the battles in those last so long that I'm gonna need something that's more useful than just a first turn board blow. Now for like difficulty one, and for this particular build here, since it's so, it's so focused on true damage, it's designed to end these matches like super quick. Then yeah. It's a it's a team built for speed. So yeah, let me you know, good call having the leprechaun in here. So, and then and then, whoops, wrong one. And then the banner you probably come to it's a banner you've come to know and love, hive banner, uh, class is titan. But one thing I do want to do, because. At the time this build was recommended to me, the Elementalist class didn't exist. So, what I'm going to go ahead and try... So, let's... Let's remove that center post between the flippers, and let's go ahead and try out Elementalist. So, now let me double check and make sure the talents are right. Okay, got that. Immunity to Frozen. I 
guess I'll put it on that one. I think I'm, my weapon is brown, so I'm assuming I'll get the three armor. Um, I think it used to be this. Yeah, I think this is only really going to matter. Matter for uh, being able to blow the board ASAP. Which, uh, it's, what, it's what the Leprechaun is for, so I'll probably just keep it at that. And then we got Fortitude, so. So again, normally Titan would be the class, but but like I said, when, um, when this build was shown to me, the Elementalist class didn't exist, so. Alright, so let me go ahead and and like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get this music fired up. Wrong one, Joe. And I'm going to need to kind of do a little bit of a sound test on this. So let me uh, fast forward it a bit. Okay, close enough. All right, so I guess what we can go ahead and do is I'll just do this. Pick difficulty 12. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of uh, of Arizona green tea. Yes, I forgot about that. Titan starts with 50% uh, mana at the start. Okay, so... Um, and let me go ahead and do this since um, now that I've actually remembered to and I'm constantly forgetting to do it on all my other videos. For you know, for those that are for those that have never seen this game before, or for those that uh, actually want that want to see what actually what's actually going on, I'm a little tongue tied at the moment. I'll go ahead and slow the game speed down to half. So. But oh, and um, something else, uh, something else I forgot to say earlier. This is another big one with Queen Bee. Cleaning all allies and matching four or more gems. And I believe she's the only character or the only card that does this. So. And. Remember, you create seven uh, green and seven brown, if I'm guessing right. And. Yeah. Do that. So I'm going to have to re blow the board. Ball save kicked in. 40%. Just getting into a rhythm. And then, um, Benoxia. Benoxia's cast whenever, uh, Queen Bee... Whenever Queen Bee's, uh... Spell is unavailable. And he's gonna put out the, uh, green and blue. Uh-oh. Ball lost, but... Nah. No big deal. She's only got two life left. What? What? Just to give you an... Oh, that's just there to give me an idea as to how this works. Um, I'll go ahead and... And yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll set the game speed back to normal. But yeah, just there to give you an idea how how it goes.
For those that have never played pinball, this is what it, this is why I call my team the pinball build. What you what you saw right there. I mean, if you're getting if you're getting four matches with all these abilities over and over, you know, in other words, if you're making your shots on that table, you're hitting your ramps, you're hitting your loops, you know, you're making those hurry ups and whatnot. I mean, everything is going great until it doesn't, and you start flubbing your shots and you know you miss time your flips and you accidentally shoot the ball literally. Silly as it might, as crazy as it might sound, literally flipping the ball straight into the out lane. Done that many times. Or, you know, make, making bad shots and they bounce off, they hit a bumper and shoot straight down the middle because you screwed up. You know, that kind of thing, so. When I started, when I started playing this build, this is the first thing that came to mind as I was playing. Pinball! Pinball. Luckily, somebody was frozen. So, and I said it wrong a few minutes ago. No, this is um, the elementalist is like having a center post added between your flippers. I think I said it took it away or something. Making my shots. Oh, ball lost. Ball save kicked in. Oh, ball drain. Oh, another ball drain. So, I guess another way of looking at it. This is my left flipper. And this is my right flipper. And I guess Leprechaun and Mountain Crusher could also be seen as a sort of kind of plunger. So, plunge the ball. There's my left flipper. Oops, flood my shot. Punch another ball. And left flipper. Yeah. Big score. And the left flipper. I guess left flip for short. Sure, I'm using that left flipper a lot. Well, here's the right flip. Oops, flop my shot. Missed. So, punch the ball again. Whoa. Ah, oh, the ball save kicked in. On the right flip. So, so are you guys starting to understand the pinball analogy in this? Pinball is fucking great until it isn't. 
All right, I got him. So let's pause it here for a second. So this next one is going to be another table called Genesis. I've never played this one. I have seen it on YouTube videos and stuff, but I've never, never played it personally. So. Let me rewind this back a little bit. Missed my shot. That was a bad plunge. Yeah, that was a bad flip. And another bad flip. Almost. There we go. No, oh, got a ball key out of it. And off for the mythic. No, looks like we're going to have a mirror match. Benoxia versus Benoxia. And this is a... This is a boss fight too, so I can't back out of it. Yeah, that was a bad one. Replunge the ball again. Oh, ball save kicked in. See what we got. So let's do a PvP one now. Like I said, I hope you're understanding why I call this the pinball team now. It's pretty much high risk, high reward. Nope. Bad flip. Gotta punch the ball again. Let me pause that on. Let me put this on pause. So next one, uh, probably not going to be playing this one very long. Is going to be is going to be the Black Knight 2000 table. So and um and yeah and, um over the years of, over the years of me streaming pinball, um there was actually one viewer who absolutely loved loved this table just for the music. So I I think she used to request it every time she came on. Much the same as a guy named Aptitude would always request Black Hole whenever I was streaming pinball. So, rewind it a little bit. I am the Black Knight. Okay. Uh oh, here comes the comeback. Hey, 
Yeah, since that one there went pretty quick, let's do one more. Oh, we got a different one here. Uh, I got a sound chest. Okay, I were a little bit loud. So let me turn it down some. Okay, close enough. I'm gonna change it back to Titan. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. No way. Give me your money. So let's take that center post off. Let me let I me mean, check and make sure that uh, I don't know why I had it on counter attack. Another bad flip. What? Made my shot in the end, though. Hmm. I try some. Spend one of these and see what I get. I guess we can sort of kind of call this my wizard mode. Oh, bad shot. So. Yeah, I think I failed this wizard mode. Ball save. Oh, wait. Ball save. That time it wasn't. Oh, big time ball drain right here. So we're looking at a game over. Yup. No, I'm not. <laughs> I think I'm about to lose. Sucker. Well, it's close. Oh, damn. That was a knockdown drag out battle, too. But, like I said, 
Oh, and uh, so what little you heard of this was uh, another table called Judge Dread. This is definitely one of my definitely one of my favorite tables right here. I think I only seen it one time in real life though. Most otherwise, it was all played on a pinball arcade. So, but otherwise, um, I just wanted to do that little demo. Um, again, that was the uh, the first build that DJ Screw showed me. So, and I hope you guys understand what I mean. I hope you guys understand why I call out the pinball team. So, but otherwise, hey, well, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and once again, Merry Christmas to all. So. See you all next time, and bye for now.